Ribbon, I am Dhiraj Tatar, a system professor in the chemical engineering department of LJIT Ahmedabad. In this lecture, I am going to start new topic of the mass transfer operation 1. So let's start. You can see on the screen, chapter name is mass transfer coefficient and topic is mass transfer theory. So in this lecture, I am going to discuss with you different theories of the mass transfer. So this is the list of the mass transfer theories. You can see on the screen. Model for mass transfer at the fluid fluid interface or I can say theories of mass transfer. These four theories are very important for your final examination. Seven mark question can be asked on any theory. Okay, means explain in detail two film theory or penetration theory, surface renewal theory, film penetration theory or explain any two theories in detail. For seven mark this question can be asked. Okay, so in this lecture I am going to discuss with you all these four theories. So, this is the list of theories. First theory is two film theory. This theory is introduced by Whitman in 1923. After that second theory is penetration theory. This theory is introduced by the Higbees in 1935. After that next theory is surface renewal theory. This theory is given by Dankwartz in 1951. And last theory is combination of film theory and penetration theory that is nothing but film penetration theory it is given by Tour and Marshall Oates in 1958 okay so we will see now all this theory in detail so first theory is two film theory you can see on the screen according to two film theory we are going to consider here two phases that is nothing but liquid phase and gaseous phase and these two phases are separated by the interface and across the interface there are two films are available first one is a gas film and liquid film so there is a different mass transfer rate across the films and in the bulk part of the phases. So first point is resistance to transfer in the two phases on the both sides of the interface is replaced by the two fictitious films each on the interface. So first point is you can see on the screen resistance to transfer in the two phases on the both side of the interface is replaced by the two films one each side close to the interface means there is a gaseous film available on the left hand side of the interface in the gaseous side and right hand side of the interface in the liquid side okay so there are two films are available in the system one is the gaseous side and another is the liquid side there is the different concentrations in the bulk and the at the surface of the film so you can see second point is the transfer in this film is given by the steady state process of the molecular diffusion what is the meaning of molecular diffusion? There is a moment of the particle from the higher concentration region to the lower concentration region and steady state process means concentration is not varying with the time. So this is the meaning of second point. Third one is the concentration gradient. What is the meaning of concentration gradient? Difference in the concentration in the two phases. Suppose there is a concentration gradient of component A means difference in the concentration of component A in the two phases is available and concentration gradient is a must for the mass transfer. Okay, means there is a must be the concentration difference of the particular component to occur the mass transfer or to occur the diffusion. So third point is the concentration gradient is assumed to be linear in this film and outside is zero. Means mass transfer is taking place only in the films because there is a concentration gradient available only, only in the two film that is nothing but gas film and liquid film and that is also in a linear form. And outside of those films, there is a no mass transfer because there is a no concentration gradient is available outside of these two films. Okay. Next point is the time taken for the concentration gradient to establish a small compared to the time of transfer. In other words, film capacity is negligible. So what is the meaning of this point? The time taken to establish the concentration gradient is as compared to time transfer of the molecule is small. Okay. Next point is the theory assumes that turbulence in the bulk fluid dies at the interface means at interface there is a no turbulence and if there is a large amount of the turbulence the mass transfer rate also large but that turbulence is a die at the interface this is the next point last point is according to this theory two film theory the mass transfer coefficient okay that is nothing but k i told you in mass transfer we are having k that is nothing but mass transfer coefficient and heat heat transfer there is h small h that is heat transfer coefficient in this theory according to this theory kc that is nothing but mass transfer coefficient so here according to mass transfer theory the mass transfer coefficient for different solvent transferred under identical fluid flow conditions are proportional to their diffusivities means k is directly proportional to the dab 
K is nothing but mass transfer coefficient and DAB is nothing but diffusivity coefficient of component A into the B. I can say in simple manner K is directly proportional to the DAB according to two film theory. So these six points are very important for your exam purpose. In first point I told you there are two films are available across the interface. Second point this process is a steady process means concentration is not varying with the time. Third point is a concentration gradient is a must for the mass transfer and concentration gradient is linear in the film and concentration gradient is zero outside of the film. Concentration gradient is zero means there is no mass transfer occur outside of the two films. After that I told you time required to establish concentration gradient is very small as compared to transfer of the molecule outside of the film. After that next point is I told you the turbulence is necessary for the mass transfer and the turbulence is dies at the interface means that turbulence is and last point is according to this theory mass transfer coefficient is directly proportional to the DAB. So these are the important points related to the two film theory. Now you will see next theory that is penetration theory. So you can see on the screen main features of this theory first point is time of exposure of a fluid to mass transfer is generally being short. Establishment of concentration gradient of the film theory characteristics of steady state is not possible. Means here according to penetration theory this theory is a not steady state process. According to penetration theory mass transfer occur according to penetration theory may be unsteady state in nature. Unsteady state in nature means concentration can be varied with respect to time at any position in the reactor. Okay. Next point is the transfer is largely due to the fresh material brought to the interface by the ADs. What is the meaning of ADs? ADs is nothing but fluid element. Whenever there is a turbulence in the system, some fluid elements came from the bulk side to the interface and whenever the, that fluid element came to the interface at that time there is a mass transfer means the movement of the molecule from the higher concentration region to the lower concentration region and every time this is possible by the fresh material only means every time there is a turbulence created and that term according to that turbulence we are getting some eddies we are getting some fluid elements and the moment of that element fluid element to the interface after that there is a possibility of the mass transfer. Next point is the process in unsteady state in nature I told you here process is unsteady state in nature means there is a variation of the concentration with respect to time at any point in the reactor. After that each fluid element resides for the same time at the interval at the surface. What is meaning of this? This is the most important point for the penetration theory. I told you there is a turbulence in the system because of that turbulence there is a generation of the fluid elements. Fluid elements is nothing but eddies. After the generation of the fluid elements or I can say eddies, those eddies came to the interface. Okay, that brings fresh material every time. That's why each fluid elements came to the interface for the mass transfer with the fresh material. And that resides means every fluid element, every AD resides for the same time. Means what uh, residence time for the each fluid element is the same according to penetration theory. There is another theory that is a surface renewal theory. This point is a different in that theory. In that theory comparative point is each fluid element resides for the different time interval. In penetration theory, listen carefully, in penetration theory, in each fluid element resides for the same time interval at the surface. But surface renewal theory, there each fluid element resides for the different time of the interval. We will see all the important points in the coming slides. But in this slide, you can see according to penetration theory, each fluid element, each AD came for the mass transfer at the interface resides for the same time. And last point is the mass transfer coefficient that is k is a proportional to the square root of diffusivity coefficient. Okay, means I can say in simple words k is a directly proportional to the under root of the DAB. So these are the important points. I am just repeating all these points once again for you. You can see first point is this process is unsteady state in nature. Second point is it brings eddies to the interface. Okay, and it brings every time fresh material for the mass transfer. After that, I told you that fluid element, whatever the fluid element coming from the interface for the mass transfer came for the same residence time. Okay, means time required for the mass transfer is the same according to penetration theory. And last point is K is directly proportional to the under root of the DAB. Next theory is surface renewal theory. 
I told you here some points are different as compared to the penetration theory. The different point and most important point is whatever the ad is coming at the interface for the mass transfer that resides for the different time interval. According to the scientist, surface renewal theory may give the different time of the residence it is required because there may be different fresh material is available. So time required is depend on the dependency of the fresh material. So according to surface renewal theory, first point is eddies of the fluid at the surface do not have constant exposure time because this time residence time exposure time depends on the material okay whatever the material is available means what is the requirement of time that may be different for the different material so but are exposed to the varying length of the time means time required for the mass transfer may be different as compared to the surface renewal theory but in penetration theory the exposure time or residence time for the mass transfer is the same for each eddy Okay, next point is on the basis of exposure history and each distribution for the surface element can be calculated. Means we know that different time is available for the different ADs. Based on this history, we can calculate each distribution for the surface element. Okay, after that next point and last point for the surface renewal theory is mass transfer is proportional to the square root of the product of diffusivity and the surface renewal rate. So, K is directly proportional to the square root of DAB into S. So, what is the S? S is nothing but surface renewal rate. What is the meaning of surface renewal rate? It is generally defined as the rate of production of fresh surface per unit total area of the surface. This definition is very important for your viva purpose. So, surface renewal rate is represented by S and it is nothing but rate of production of the fresh surface per unit total area of the surface. Okay, so these are the important points related to the surface renewal theory. After that last theory that is the film penetration theory. Okay, so it, I told you film penetration theory is nothing but it is the combination of film theory and penetration theory. So here we are adding some points of the film theory and penetration theory to get the best result for the mass transfer. So according to this theory you can see on the screen this theory incorporates some salient features of the both two, two film theory and penetration theory. I told you two film theory is nothing but steady state process and penetration theory is unsteady state process. So we are going to consider here both points now. You can see first point is complete resistance to the transfer is regarded as lying within the finite laminar film at the interface. Means this is the point of the film theory. We know that there is a mass transfer occurs only in the film. Okay, That may be the gaseous film or liquid film outside of the film there is a no concentration gradient is available or I can say there is a no mass transfer. This is the first point that is related to the film theory. Second point is the transfer process is regarded as the unsteady state process. This point is related to the penetration theory. I told you film theory is the steady state process and penetration theory is unsteady state process. So this film penetration theory is also unsteady state process. This is the point related to the penetration theory. So what is the meaning of unsteady state process here concentration can be varying with the time. Next point is fresh surface is formed at the interval from the fluid which is brought to the interface from the bulk by the eddies. This is also point of the penetration theory. I told you in penetration theory we are creating turbulence. Because of that turbulence there is a generation of the eddies, generation of the fluid elements and all those fluid elements came to the surface for the mass transfer. Okay, So this requires the fresh material. So we are getting here fresh material for the mass transfer according to the film penetration theory. This third point is related to the penetration theory. Next point is the fourth point the transfer then takes place as the penetration theory and material tra traversing the film mixes with the bulk of the fluid immediately. Means whenever the mass transfer completed whatever the remaining part of the eddies whatever the remaining part of the fluid elements that immediately going into the bulk side for the mixing to get the again turbulence and to creating again fresh material for the mass transfer. And last point for the short exposure time the process is identical to the postulation made in the case of the penetration theory whereas the long exposure time with the steady state concentration gradient conditions similar to the two film theory exist. Means whenever we are dealing with the steady state process at that time we are requiring more time more exposure time for the mass transfer. Okay, but if we are dealing with the unsteady state process, we will require less time and we will get efficient mass transfer process according to the film penetration theory. 
So, what we have seen in this lecture, I have discussed with you important theories for the mass transfer. Those are nothing but two film theory, penetration theory, surface renewal theory and film penetration theory. So, these all theories are important for your exam purpose. Seven mark question can be asked in the final examination based on this theory. So, this is all about this lecture. We will see next topic in the next lecture. Thank you very much.